Hello and a warm welcome uh, to this uh, short expert series. Coincidentally, Shreyas also happens to be our community member and is running a very, very successful cloud kitchen, Tinduda. And uh, if you have not watched this video with him on how he built that uh, business successfully, uh, go click here and watch that video. Meanwhile, uh, Shreyas also is running another company called Inflow, where uh, uh, he has a, he's a kind of aggregator for influencers. Okay. So let's hear more about that and uh, get some ideas on how all of us can use good influencers for developing our business, food businesses specifically. Hi, uh, Shreyas. Welcome to the session. And uh, tell me a little more about Inflow. Sure, sir. So uh, Inflow is an influencer tech company. Uh, we have like over... 15,000 uh, influencers and content creators across India uh, with a combined uh, reach of about 1 billion on Instagram alone. Wow. Right. Yeah. So food is one of the biggest category of uh, influencers we hold. Uh, that's one of the trending uh, uh, in the segment, I would say. So uh, that is, uh, and yeah. So 15, we have like 15,000 uh, social media influencers and we work with wide range of uh, clients as well. And we are from T-Hub, uh, which is a, a government uh, startup initiative, right? And uh, we work with a lot of clients and uh, it's it's super fun working at Influ as well. Okay. Now, for the food businesses that uh, start off and uh, are looking at, uh, you know, amongst many ways, you know, one of the key ways is... Uh, using the influencer marketing, how do you recommend that they go about doing it actually? Sure. I would, I would suggest uh, number one point is uh, relevancy, right? Uh, let's say, let's say if, if these, if these content creators out there or the influencers out there doesn't really talk about uh, food, right? There is no point uh, uh, getting them to work with you, right? So that is one of the biggest point, though there could be an exception for this as well. If they have like insane following, insane following on their social media and uh, you want to tap into that market then that's fine but uh, i would say i we have seen a lot of conversion with food bloggers right food bloggers food content creators street food uh, videos and all these things so that is number one number two is engagements right so even if even if an influencer food influencer have like 100k followers on their instagram but their but their engagement is less than one person. It's it's not really a good profile, I would say. So uh, and uh, that is number two. And uh, number three is comments, right? So uh, like when you are having like hundred thousand followers following you on Instagram, it's a, it's a community itself. One lakh people ka community, I would say. So if they are not really engaging in terms of comments and all the other uh, things, right? Maybe DMs, maybe likes and sharing this thing and all these things. It's it's not really a good profile, I would say. We have seen a very good conversions for food influencers and who have like insane uh, uh, engagement as well. So I would say these are the two main points while choosing your influencer, right? Okay. So, uh, uh, so... What kind of uh, cost would you incur approximately, you know, if you're talking about these influencers? I, I know it varies from how many followers they have to relevance and all that, but approximately what do you think is a decent budget for a, a business to have for using influencers uh, for marketing? So I would say, I would say 10,000 a month, starting with 10,000 a month, a month is a very good budget in terms of uh, uh, doing the influencer marketing, right? Okay. All right. So, and there, there are other ways as well, wherein you actually send out a PR package to the influencers, you know, or maybe messaging them to try your food on all these things, right? Whatever, whatever ways you can find out. Mm -hmm. This, this is a cost effective way, right? If they, if they, uh, if the influencer really wants to try your food, they will definitely get a, get their uh, PR package, have it, and they'll definitely share the positive, not just positive, whatever genuine feedback they want to share, they'll share it on their Instagram. Right. This is one of the best ways to do it. And we do it in bulk as well. So we, 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 it worked wonders for us, I would say. So you've done that too as a, as a business, food business yeah. owner. 
that you, you sent across your PR packages to influencers and uh, uh, they've reviewed uh, and that right. helped a lot. I, I, luckily, I'm in both the things, right? I'm in cloud kitchen and also into influencer marketing. So I leveraged it like crazy, I would say. Okay. For somebody who's not there, you know, so how do you, how do they go about finding uh, the influencer? Where do they search? How do they do it? So uh, let's say, let's say they like someone, right? Some, some local influencer who have like 10, 20 K following on their Instagram, just drop them a message, just drop them a message. They might not see the first time, drop them, drop a message. Second time, they might see it. Even if they don't third time, fourth time, we have unlimited numbers, I would say. So that is one of the way. And the biggest thing is not, uh, uh, the biggest thing is your customers are your influencers as well, right? See, I, I, I myself have like about 500 followers, I would say. Right. But these 500 people following me are, are very close to me. My, maybe my friends, my family and all the people who I am very close with. Right. So why not, why not send a sticker or a, or, or a, or a visiting card or something like that, which says, which says, if you really like, like our food, why not just put a Instagram story for us? You can, you can, you can, you can ask for this kind of uh, help. Right. And it will it will create a significant impact. Though though normal people have like 500 followers or something like that, but this is a strong following, I would say. So this is one of the ways which we do it already. So that's the thing. So you encourage your own customers to uh, right. uh, post about your food or about uh, following you on Insta, right. and uh... that's 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 literally on the back of our uh, packaging bag. I would say there is a big QR code. Uh, and in our Telangana style, I wrote something like, my Instagram la kirak photo scan Kind of a thing, right? And it worked wonders for us. Fantastic, fantastic. That's a that's a great idea. So, uh, how do you see the trend in terms of influencer marketing going forward, uh, Shreyas? Lastly, it's gonna be influencer marketing, sir. Nothing else, I would say. So, lot of lot of influencers are coming up. Lot of content creators are coming coming up. And uh, I would say, I would say uh, to penetrate your brand very well into the market out there, I would say influencer marketing is the best way to do it. It's the only way what I say usually, but uh, not to exaggerate, uh, it's the best way I would, I'm saying now. Okay, okay, okay. So nice. Uh, and to hear that. And so, guy friends, so if you got an idea that how to leverage uh, the influencer for your food business, do like this video, subscribe to the channel to be updated more about uh, uh, such videos on the food business, on your planning, on your marketing, on your budgeting. And uh, let's thank Shreyas for giving us these tips uh, on the influencer marketing on Insta, especially. I think on Insta is where he's uh, doing a lot of work. Uh, and that's where a lot of customers are. You know, as we know that most of the customers are below the age of 40 years and a lot of them are active on Insta. So one good place for us to focus on marketing and getting the best out there. If you are ha having a good product, I think it's your moral responsibility to get it out to as many people as possible. Influence marketing is definitely one good way. And thanks, Reyes, for sharing with us those tips. And wish you all the very best for both the Inflow and the Tindra. Thanks a lot for having me here. Sir. Yeah, pleasure. Do comment how you like this video, friends.